I'd now like to introduce our witnesses for the second panel. Our first witness of the second panel is the most Reverend Mark Sopi, Apostolic Administrator of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Prison. Bishop Sopi is effectively the Roman Catholic Bishop of Kosovo. Born in Kosovo, he began his studies in philosophy and theology in Zagreb, Croatia, and completed his degrees in Rome. In 1995, Monsignor Mark Sopi was nominated by the Holy See as Kosovo's bishop. During the conflict in Kosovo, Bishop Sopi played a major role in saving lives, and after the war, he participated in the reconstruction effort to rebuild schools, hospitals, and religious sites. Now turn to our first witness, Bishop Sopi. Zadni Kresus, Zadni Congressman, you for the Reich in Makinelan and Monsien, Memuitan Kto, Elone Michit and Pik Pamiatimia, Cyprus Chasas Kosovos. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and uh, members of the committee, honorable members of Congress. I feel honored today to be here and, and, and thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to speak before you and uh, express my views on the current status situation in Kosovo. Sijdiet Kosovo ginet ne Balkan. Mari si per face nimletmi kilometra kvadrat. As you know, Kosovo is a uh, country that uh, in the Balkans and the southeastern Europe with a uh, area of 11,000 uh, square kilometers. Many populat rel du million. It has a population of about 2 million people. Kuyan shumica e male shiptar. With a majority. With a majority of over 90% being Albanians. Ktachiert barbain serpt, marazest, bosniak, turst. And the rest uh, consists of Serbs, Bosnians, uh, Romas, and other uh, minorities. As far as the uh, as far as religion in Kosovo is issued is uh, concerned, we can say that most of the people in Kosovo belong to the Islam religion. And then, of course, some of them belong to the Orthodox Church and uh, some to the Catholic Church. Uh, since the first introduction of Christianity, the Albanians who were at that time were uh, Illyrians, and in fact, had uh, embraced the Christian religion delivered to them by uh, uh, St. Paul. But over the centuries, uh, the uh, religion belonging of the Albanians in the region has changed. And today we have three major religions in the country, and that's the Islam, uh, Orthodoxy, and Christianity. But even though we, even though there are uh, three main religious communities, uh, you have the Islamic community, the uh, uh, Roman Catholic community, and the Orthodox community, I can firmly say that never in the past or in the present have we ever had any conflicts, inter-religious conflicts? Uh, many cases, uh, people uh, compare the uh, um, Islam in Kosovo with the Islam in Bosnia, for example. But I have to, uh, I have to say that these, uh, the Islam in Bosnia and the Islam in Kosovo are not compatible at all, and they are so uh, different from one another. Uh, 
uh, comparing these two, uh, comparing the Islam in, uh, in Kosovo and the Islam in Bosnia would be just like comparing uh, two different economical systems, the capitalism and communism or socialism, for example. Muslim and Bosnians is in Croat and Serb. In Bosnia, the Muslims uh, were uh, either of Croatian or uh, Serbian background. And uh, uh, most of the time, they did not actually know what ethnic background they came from. And, and, and because of this, then they created this, uh, uh, the notion of, of the Bosnian people, because the only thing they could find in common between them was the religion. Dersa ne Kosov. Whereas in uh, Kosovo, ne nukimi pasen kur kur nihere kur far konflikti mesnesh, ve kto nukosh ne pytje identiteti baza komtare, parosh mati pre dishira me pasen ni liri si ju se kane da tam po pyte tjer. And uh, in, in Kosovo, there has never been a conflict between different between people of different religions. And the only problems that we have had have been of, uh, because of differences in ethnicity rather than religion. And uh, one more thing I'd like to mention is that um, uh, the, there is not, it is not true that in Kosovo there is this Islamic fundamentalism. Well, we heard quite a lot about the March events of last year. But I'm sure that no one in Kosovo expected them to happen. I want to mention that these, uh, the, the uh, riots that happened in March 2004 were not direct, directed against the Serbs or against their re religious sites. But they happened and they occurred because of the uh, initial murder of three children in Mitrovica and the blocking of the uh, main uh, uh, road that uh, connects uh, Pristina and, and uh, Skopje. And we always remain uh, firm that we want a peaceful, peaceful processes to get us to the uh, final solution for the Kosovo issue. And I do believe that the riots of March 2004 were mainly directed against UNMIC because of its failure to come up with a strategy that would uh, get Kosovars peacefully to what they have been requesting and their uh, right to self-determination sooner. So when thousands of people were protesting against the Yinmik failure so far, and these were mainly young people that were not organized or under the control of anyone. But obviously among these people there were elements that did, do not want to see Kosovo progress and go uh, and develop further. And these were the elements then who committed, uh, who committed, who, tr who attacked the uh, 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 Serbian Orthodox Church uh, buildings in some cities. But uh, I do believe that the attacks were not, the attacks against churches were not just because they were churches and had to be destroyed. Because uh, if we think of the past and the history, especially the history during the Ottoman rule, rule all these churches uh, could have been destroyed completely and nobody would ever ask why.